We learned in part one that we live life in the truth. Now we're told that we live as children of light by walking in light. So you have your identity in God's truth and you're walking in his light. Here are the four basic simple applications that we can work to be in truth, to stay in light, to choose life. Number one, it's simple, obey, obey, simple. This is why humility is essential to our response to the truth and to life. It's the way of life. Jesus did it as he walked on the earth. Are we better than Jesus? Jesus was obedient as both the son of man and the son of God. He showed up how to align, he showed us how to align perfectly with truth and light by obeying Father God. Number two, praise. Praising God is amplifying the power of truth and the force of light in your life. It defeats lies. It defeats sickness, demonic strategies that would be set against your family. It defeats confusion, depression, and it enforces life. Let me tell you a little secret. You need to know this and apply this for the times that are about to manifest here on earth. Praising God is part of your protection and your direction. And number three, attend. Truth simply says, pay attention. Light illuminates so that you can spiritually see what's coming and pay attention. When you pay, you give something, don't you? God's word tells us that the ultimate currency God is looking for is your attention, your trust, your reliance. Attend, not to a building, but to the person, the identity of God. And fourth, imitate. God said, be holy for I am holy. Paul said, imitate me as I follow Christ. God always gives a model to promote his plan, preparation, conditioning, and repetition. We live in a lazy experience craving culture. Swipe left, swipe up, entertain me, give my kids something to do. I need an experience to feel alive, really? Because the truth says you need to study to show yourself approved. Light says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. An experience won't do that. Jesus fed the multitudes and the crowd turned around and crucified him. So even Jesus being the conference speaker alone doesn't convert you. That's God's work of grace. You need first priority of the word of God, period. You must practice hearing truth, attending to the truth, seeing the light so you can imitate freedom. You don't want to be one of the foolish virgins Jesus talked about walking away with no oil in a dark place someday. To imitate or model God means you imitate his truth, walk in light. It means you watch and listen, and then you act on his instructions.